Welcome back here to some more Pokemon Fusion Generation 2. Last episode, we came to Unova, went to Oplucid City because Drayden is running for mayor. However, N has challenged him to become mayor, which is uh, not good. Do not want him becoming mayor of this uh, this city. Also, there was a murder. Looks like Drayden is like the uh, lead suspect right now, but I don't think he did it. N had nothing to do with it. It had to be, um, obviously, N's mum. I think it is. Anyway, uh, we're going to head back to Sinnoh next. So we can go to the old Team Galactic hideout because it might actually be the Team Galactic Rocket hideout now. <laughs> they might have been a bit stupid enough to use the same hideout, but we'll go find out. So let's go to Sinnoh. Also, we had a few Pokemon Evolve. I'd say a few, I think just one. Um, yeah, we had our uh, Babyon evolve into Meganeon, which just looks so adorable. It looks so nice. Like, I am loving my team right now. Obviously, Leaf Free and Tentacle are going to be changing when we can change them. Just need to find, like, a new Flying type, new Water type, and then just anything, really. <laughs> right, so we need to make our way back to Jube Life, then go east. Going to... I forget the town name, but I know where we're heading. And I'm hoping as well that we can find some new fusions soon, because I feel like it's been a... Long time, I mean, we battle lots of cool fusions, which is sweet, but I want to capture one. But I don't think we're going to get a decent fusion, probably till we go back to Splicing Island. So we want to head down here, and let's pick up a few items on the way. Did you think you could sneak past me? Uh, no, I want to battle you, dude. Have you got some cool fusions we can see? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Looks horrifying. Jesus. Well, it might be part normal, so we should have gone for a fighter move, actually. I mean, Dual Chop will still do a little bit of damage, so it's all good. Uh, Karate Chop. Bide. That's fine. Oh, okay. Or not. Finish off Dual Chop, then. Dude, I kind of wonder what a, um, a Krikatoon and a Slacking would look like. <laughs> Could look crazy. Oh, level 33 for Strikerism. Nice, and... Veno Fairy? Okay, Clefairy and a Venomoth or Venonat? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's actually kind of adorable. It looks like, a, looks like a Clefairy just got kind of fat and just got lots of lots of hair. <laughs> kind of like it. Kind of like it. Oh, I just feel like a Clefable and Venomoth though would just look so wrong. <laughs> so wrong. Like a lot of these fusions, I just really want to see the evolution. Because some of them look cute, some of them look just horrifying or cool. And you just know that once they evolve, it's going to look just even better or even worse. You just know. Okay, so let's grab this. And we have a light clay. Cool. Not too bad. Right. Uh, we have surf, actually, yeah. It's a cone block on that way. Ooh, Bulldoze! Should we teach Bulldoze to, um, Gabacho get rid of, um, Sand... Tr sand Tomb? What have we got again? Is it Sand... No, it's not Sand Trap, is it Sand Tomb? Yeah, Sand Tomb. Don't know why I was thinking of Sand Trap, but I was. <laughs> what other things can we teach? Like, we've got have some decent TMs. We've got Dazzle and Gleam. Should probably teach that to someone. Okay, Strikerism can't learn it, even though he's part fairy. That kind of sucks. Um, I think we'll, actually Ice Beam. See if I can teach someone Ice Beam. Only Strikerism. Like I like Strikerism's move set at the moment. That's the one problem with Pokemon, man. I can only have four moves. One day, one day, I hope they bump up to five. I don't think this is the right way, actually, because there's another cone block in the way. We definitely have to come back to Sinnoh, right? Unless we have to go north? I'm trying to think, like, where Team Galactic's HQ was. I swear it was, like, over there, but I guess not. <laughs> Anyway, I have to go explore it and try to find it. I'm clearly forgetting my uh, my roots and towns in Sinnoh. So let's try going north. 
you know, like the old couple like they were blocking the um the way what they called the game they were the um the concerned citizen society i think it was like three old people were like blocking the path here so now we can go up, go up this way let's go over here the chase is on oh i remember like a what song is it it's like chase is on chase is on. Oh, what song is that i think it's called chase is on <laughs> oh my god that's so, that's so fish <laughs> okay <laughs> oh just <laughs> I think it would look kind of more normal-ish if it had the um had like Psyduck's beak. <laughs> it just looks so wrong. It just looks like he's got a massive frown, like he's so sad. Oh dude, I love all these fusions, it's great. A duck row! So Merkur and Psyduck? Oh no, Spiro and Ducklet. Oh god. <laughs> like I kinda like the blue to be honest. It looks it just look at, looks like a mad ducklet, to be honest. Like, ducklet's just like, oh, this one's born a bit different. He's a bit bit mad, a bit angry at the world, and that's that's it. Oh. This is like a, um, like a, I don't know, Zangu's just listening to, like, some pop, oh, like, let's say pop, like, rock metal. Got, like, some cool tattoos, dyed his fur, oh, disabled. Decided, um, dyed his fur, like, yellow, and just grew a beak. <laughs> I don't know how you grow a beak, but he did it! Oh, I love these fusions so much. Right, we're level 30, nice. This Gappa Choke, man. Cannot wait to get my Machamp and uh, Garchomp. Uh, don't need help with that. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to probably be called, like, Garchamp. I would assume. Let's see when we get it. Oh, if we battle Cynthia earlier. Oh! It's finally evolving! Okay, what does it look like? Oh, man, this is going to look so funny. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. I just... It looks so wrong. Oh my god. Do not like. Do not like it all. Oh man, we need like a new fusion bad. Gotta remember, I can catch some Pokemon to fuse in Bill's machine, so if I see a, a type I like, I can always just... um you know, catch the two Pokemon, fuse them together, if I can find them both. Like if I like uh, the Zangoose Psyduck, I can just catch Psyduck here, and then, I don't know where I can get a Zangoose, but, you know, I can get it later on. Right, any more trainers around here? Nope. Oh wait, can we go down here, maybe find an item? Oh, a Lotad. Seen enough Lotads recently. Come on, have an item down here. Have something cool. Oh, something I, I think I bought repels, didn't I? I'm fairly certain I did. I might pop a repel. Oh, there's nothing here. Ah. Oh, got to lie to. Some of that rare candy I need to use. Right. Repel is on. Let's start making our way up. Uh, grab this. Yeah, from this, like, route here, I clearly do not remember Sinnoh very well. So got, I knew, like, Orberg was to the right, where Rourke's gym is. Which is the first gym, right? Oh, that's kind of cute. Um, no, Team Galactus headquarters wasn't there. It was, Team Galactus headquarters was by Marley's gym, right? The fighting type, which... Obviously, obviously this has got to be there. Oh, wow. Toro Tang. Actually, looks kind of cool. I would, If I find one of them, I wouldn't mind catching on the team. kind of like that. Anyway, as I was saying, um, I don't remember Sinnoh very well, clearly. Wait, isn't it you go north to the town by near where you get, like, Spiritoom, and then you go east, go up a little bit, then go east, and you end up by Marley's town, right? I need to look at a map of Sinnoh, man. I cannot honestly remember. I think Team Galactic might have been an Orberg just for a little thing, but nothing too big, you know? Oh, stop popping up. I need to... I guess it looks like pop-up from, like, um... Oh, my God. Oh, God. The face looks so wrong. <laughs> Be brother. 
Oh man. I get like this little like pop-up news thing. I need to just kind of disable it from like Microsoft Edge and it's really annoying and just gets in the way of like where it says recording on OBS. And I get really paranoid sometimes it just stops recording because I've had it before. And, oh wow, that looks sick! Oh dude, I like that. It makes like Maki Heater look like um Oh, I can't remember the guy's name, but I think it's in an anime, he's got like, he grows like little horns, he's like an evil dude. Oh, I can't remember his name, but I know who I'm thinking of. I can picture like his face in my in my mind, but I just can't remember where he, like, he's from or his name. But I like, I like this man. So good. Speaking of enemies, anyone got any good enemies to, for me to watch? Because at the moment I'm hearing Demon Slayer is really, really good. Like, I have no, no idea what it's about, but I've just been waiting. I've finished Attack on Titan Season 3, I'm waiting for Season 4 now, and I've been reading the manga issues, and whew! Oh wow, this not looks so... so wrong. Um, I've been reading the manga issues, and that's getting interesting, and then I was like, I'll just wait for My Hero Season 4 to come out in October. Oh, sorry about that, uh, postman knocked at the door. I swear the post, like, every time I record early, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm up early, I can record now, I'm feeling good. I swear the postman's just like, yo, I'm gonna knock like halfway through your recording every time. So I kinda lost what I was saying. Um about anime? Yeah. Demon Slayer, apparently it's really, really good. I'm gonna go give that a uh, a watch, I think. If no one's got any other good recommendations, I should just switch out. This thing's gonna wreck me, dude. Alright. That leaf seed it just ah. Alright, if we go into Pony Growl. I'm assuming this is grass water, so we could just go like stomp actually instead. Speed drop. Oh, please let me outspeed it still. Good, 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 good. Flinch, flinch, flinch. Hey! Love getting the flinch, man. Flinch is too good. Alright, get a sweet XP and a Tiny V. Tynamo and Sne Snivy? <laughs> Oh, that's kind of cute. I almost called it Sneevy. I hope it's such a cool name. From now on, I'm never calling it Snivy Snivy. I'm calling it Sneevy. Sneevy! Alright, is that it? We good? Yeah, we good. Alright, let's continue exploring and then. Up we go! I think down here. Ooh! TM20 safeguard. Won't ever be using it, but it's always nice to pick these things up just in case. Nothing down there. Yeah, Floroma Town. This is a town I remember. I think we go up a bit, then we go right. Oh, I, honestly, I thought <laughs> I thought the text down. wasn't paying attention to the text. I thought it said, you know, six. I pressed A the moment I got to <laughs> Nurse Joy. I was saying, do you want to heal, your, heal up your Pokemon? Not, do you want to use another repel? <laughs> oh man, what perfect timing for the repel to come in. Oh my god. Um, should we go to the right? See if we can explore that little um, Giratina Cave. Like, I haven't played Diamond and Pearl in such a long time. Oh, wait. No. It is not the town I was thinking of then. What town is it where, like, you go east of the ruins thing and on Diamond and Pearl you can get, um... You can get Giratina in there. Because in Platinum you have to go to the Distortion World. I don't remember. Stop and smell the flowers that don't let life get you worked up. Good thing is, for everyone watching at home, it's now, like, kind of... Mid-August, my hay fever now stops, pretty much. So I can smell the flowers, what's left of them. It's, it's usually around like April to July. Some videos you'll have me sound like, like, yes, because I can't speak very well. I did not mean to use a repel, but... Yeah, what's up, dude? Buy some honey, uh, ooh. I want to I, I pressed down to say no, and the option didn't come up with yes or no, it was just, how many do you want? And I almost bought nine. Oh, man. This is... Not my game today, man. Not my game. Right, so let's probably buy some more repels, just in case we need some more. Uh, you have the mail and stuff. Don't want that. Right. How many repels do I even have? 16. Let's buy another 16. Make 32. I love the Pokemon music, it's so, so nice. 
Right, I, I know the factory was to the right then. That's where you get the uh, drift blim on certain days, I think it is. Yo, what's up, dude? Hey, watch it. I was about to cast my rod. I mean, probably not a good idea to cast it across a bridge. A one-way bridge. <laughs> uh, let's get a dual chop. Nice. Right, one more to go. Amnesia, that's fine. It's all good, dude. Do not mind one bit. So if we do actually take on Marley, yeah, not Marnie. Marnie is the new queen from Sword and Shield. God, Marnie looks so good. Um, Marley, third Jimmy Dove Sinnoh. I wonder if you'll have the fusion of Riolu and Horniar, but have the Bisharp and Lucario. That could look so good. Right, let's go into Meganian, and we'll go for a nice... Uh, Nice magic relief. This barbage man killing me. Right, magical leaf. There we go. Level 34, sweet man. We're getting so many levels. I feel like we're gonna get a little bit too OP. Next fuel man, just so good. Hey, and roost. Uh, we're we're good, we're good. It's Pellicruel, don't need to bother with his moves at all because we're not going to use them. <laughs> Yo, do you want a battle, dude? That's an action-packed battle. Okay, you better give me some action. If it's just like some boring Pokemon, ain't going to be happy. Oh my god, I want it. <laughs> it's so cute. It's face as well, it's just so bland. I need this. So I guess, yeah, so it's got to be a Whalmer and a Skiddy, right? Not a Whale Lord and a Skiddy. Oh, I want it so bad. I need it. If I <laughs> if I see one in the wild, I am so catching it. That'll be the water Pokemon we use. The Whale Lord and Delcaddy could just... We've seen some, like, Whale Lord fusions in this game. And they're great. <laughs> oh, dude. Love it. Yo, what's up, man? Can you guess what my favorite Pokemon is? Uh, okay, I'll give it a go. Slow more, okay. I need to see the evolution of this, because I feel like it's going to be really cool. <sighs> I really thought I could take you out in one hit. That sucks. That really sucks. One HP, dude. Ah, okay, uh... Let's go... Strikers in, because we've got some water moves we can just go for. Alright. He might have four Slummels. This is favorite Pokemon, maybe. Okay, Grouse, Sweet, Grow Level. Slug oh, Slugma! Slugma's his favorite Pokemon. <laughs> I need to find. I, I remember it, I googled it last episode, but I forgot what level Ponyta evolved already. I think it was like 39 or 40. I think it was 40 actually. Yeah, because I said like, oh wow. <laughs> I said at level um, 39 we'll use the rare candy on it. Hopefully it will evolve. If not, then we need to find a fire stone. Which hopefully we'll get soon, because I've got a water stone, I've got a leaf stone. Just need that fire stone, boy. No, my luck, the next one I find is a thunder stone. <laughs> and a sluggish. Oh. Oh god. It's a hot ice cream, man. Tell me, am I, I, my girlfriend thinks I'm weird for doing this, but I, I don't think it's weird. I think this is the right thing to do. I think eating ice cream in summer is stupid because it just melts. I don't eat melted ice cream. I eat, well, I eat my ice cream during winter because then it lasts longer. I mean, it still tastes the same, just doesn't melt. So, you know, ice cream doesn't really cool you down. It just, to me, it just it melts, gets you a bit sticky. It's just, hate, hate eating ice cream in summer, man. But winter time, it's all good. Because it's just, you know. Oh wow, that that toy saw. <laughs> I actually, I actually dig this. Might have levitate. Oh, let's go for dual chop. Actually, no. Let's go for bulldoze. Oh, it does have levitate. I knew it. I thought, I thought it will have levitate, and I thought, no, no, it might not do. Let's just go for it. And 
Should have gone for my uh, my first choice. Ah, <sighs> typical man. Absolutely typical. Right, one more door chop. There we go. Dude, my team is it's getting them levels up, man. Look, oh wow. Oh, dude, a Kingdra Metagross could actually look sick. I mean, this just looks just wrong. Fun fact about, um, uh, oh god, what are they called? Seahorses. In my head I was like, they're not called horsies, that's the Pokemon. What, what are they called again? Seahorses. The male seahorse actually gives birth. Yeah, not the female. Crazy, right? Oh, an unknown. That's kind of cool. <laughs> when you play so much Pokemon you forget what an actual animal's name is and you go with, uh, <laughs> you call it a Pokemon. Oh, dude. This thing is actually going to be a pain in the butt. Psychic and Steel. Not good against Gabby Choke. You know it's going to have another tip. I'm going to give it a go. Knew it. I knew it! I just thought I'll give it a go just in case it doesn't have Levitate. I mean, it's floating off the ground. Of course I have Levitate, but... There's sometimes Pokemon have been floating off the ground. They don't have Levitate. Anyway, that's now gone. I might run back and quickly heal up. I think it was too far, was it? Yeah, he strikes him 35. Strikes him's getting so powerful. Like, I'm, I'm starting to think Strikers might just be, like, the MVP for this whole game. Yeah, it's just there. I was like, not too far, is it? Yeah, it's literally just outside. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's quickly go down here, just in case we miss an item. I don't think we did. Do we have a cave to go through? Oh! No, I remember now! I feel we can probably take the shortcut. We have to go, um... Through the forest with... What's her face? Uh, uh, Cheryl? And her Chansey, Blissey? And then you, um... Go through the... You can go to the ro Rotom... Well, the mansion with the Rotom. Uh... Let's not use a repel yet. Let's grab all these berries. Ah, oh, it's slowly coming back to me now. I'm remembering Sinnoh a bit. Okay. I think I was more thinking of Hoenn. Because in Hoenn... Is it Hoenn? Yeah, Rossboro. You go north. And it's kind of like a dead end, but it leads towards... Um, Meteor Falls. And then east kind of leads to, leads to like... Verdun Turf Town. I think that's what I was more thinking of. I got kind of like the two mixed together. Ah, okay. I wonder if we'll team up, team up with anyone in here. I doubt it, but it'll be kind of cool. Turn of Forest. Right, better pop that repel. We have 30, so we're looking good. Miracle Seed, okay. Not bad, we'll give that to uh, McGeevion. Because that will do with the uh, lovely extra grass tags. I'm going for Pony Growl as well, because you know there's pretty bug trainers in here. We can just like fire fang everything. Okay, ooh. What's up, twins? Lost? No, we're not lost. We we like it here. Okay. A bit weird. Just stay in the forest, little girls, but. Ooh. They're actually kind of cool. Wait, what's. Obviously, Latini is Dratini and um, Lavital. What's the other one? Baganini? Dratini and... Oh, Bagom. I was getting confused by the tail. Like, I saw the body part and I thought it kind of reminds me of Bagom, but I was like, the tail? What's the tail from? This is just Dratini's body. Uh, <laughs> right, uh, this is kind of bad for us, because... Because... Oh, did not mean... I forgot. Oh, I've been playing too many Gen 3 games where Surf doesn't attack a teammate. Oops. Good old days when Surf was a little bit more broken, you know? My bad. Sorry, Pony Growl. I think I have a revive. I'll just revive him in a second. Right. Rock slide. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. And we'll go for a dual chop. Kill you. And then Aqua Tail. Kill you. Did a Tyranitar and a um, Dragonite or a Dragonite and a Salamence? That'd actually be 
pretty cool. Can you imagine like a Dragonite with Salamence's wings? Oh, that could be nice. Dude, I want, I need to find a Dratini fusion, bad. Although, I, I said I got the Garchamp coming, so um, don't have to worry about a Dragon type too much, but I wouldn't mind a Dr Dragonite Tyranitar or Dragonite Salamence, if I'm honest. Like, one or both of them for the team would be really cool. Let's be honest, I think everyone wants to kind of see, kind of see that. Got odd instance, okay. We'll go into the mansion as well, maybe we can get like a fusion Rodon, maybe? What's that? Oh, I think it's just a little tile error. I think, let's do yeah. Okay. It's a little tile error, I thought that's like maybe some item just on the floor a little bit, but nope. Wanna see something neat? Watch carefully. Okay. So the cool thing about this game as well is like, it makes you wanna battle, oh wow. It makes you want to battle all the trainers you see because you know they're going to have some cool fusions and not just, you know, oh, um, the millionth trainer you've battled with a, with a B drill, you know? This game makes you want to battle the trainers because you don't know what you're going to, you don't know what you're going to find. Oh, Ambipoma and Azumaro, okay. Uh, let's go Meganian. With that lovely magical leaf. Oh! That looks sweet. The blue really suits Ambipom. This makes me wish like a shiny Ambipom was um was blue. I think it's pink, isn't it? Like a really bright pink, not bright pink, but like a like a dark pink-ish. Do the best way to describe it, but yeah, purple to pink is pretty sure it goes. Which is just not the biggest change in the world. Anyway. Oh. Got a max revive, nice. Oh yeah, let's revive Ponygrow. If I can. Yeah, I got 10 revives. We good. Need to keep him alive because that XP. Right, let's go in here. To the spooky mansion. Oh. What the? Okay. Oh, hi. I'm not scared at all. Not scared of ghosts? Nope, not me. Actually, I should not use a repel just in case there's some ghost fusions in here. Dude, I don't like this. It's creepy. Hey, leftovers, nice. So usually, like the scary places in like Pokemon games don't don't scare me too much. It's just the um, I think it's like some fan games. I've I've played like two that have had jump scares, and now like every fan game's just. Scary place is actually scary to me because I feel like at some point I'm going to click on something and I'm going to hear like a raw and just get scared and then I'm going to just look like a scaredy cat because I jump easy. I don't do horror games, man. Oh, help me. Okay. Start from the far right. Oh. Will o wisp, not bad. Wait, do we have balls? Yeah, we've got, we got some poker balls. We'll be fine. Oh, and she's not there anymore. Great. Uh, no. Okay, so he's in that room. Is he actually in this room? Oh, that teddy bear does not... <sighs> does not look safe. Okay, here we go. It's wearing a badge that says, Officer Carmen. I feel like... Officer Carmen sounds familiar, but I don't. Should I... Oh, wait, no. I think I'm thinking of something else then. Do we, do we just leave? Oh, hi. Uh, I always knew I would end up back here. Upstairs there's a computer. Its contents could be very dangerous if they fell into the wrong hands. Please stop that from happening. No one else needs to get hurt on Team Dialectic's account. So, uh. Let me quickly Google. Oh, he's gone. Officer Carmen. Like, I feel like. Officer Carmen. Uh. Oh. I think it's a real person. 
think. I think I was thinking of, what's his name? Um, not Carmichael. Something from... Oh, there's no power? How do we get the power? I think of uh, Gears of War. Is it the Carmen Brothers? There's got to be a way to put the power on here. Oh. Hey, Rodom's now here. Okay, so we get Rodom, and then maybe the power goes on? Oh. Now it's gone. Okay. Maybe now we can try... What do I do? Rodon? Where'd you go, buddy? Kinda need ya. Let's go back on all the rooms again. Because I have to interact with something or just trigger another event. So is this one with the TV? Um, go back to the teddy bear? So confused right now on what I do. Um, don't think I want to leave. Right, let me look around and see what I can find because I don't know what I'm doing. I have gone around forever trying to find out what to do, and I can't seem to do anything. So I'm not sure maybe I have to come back here later on, but I. Don't know what to do. I've gone around every single room multiple times, but I can't get the power back on. So I guess we'll just come back here a little later on. Anything I can think of, to be honest, because <laughs> I ran around for like 20 minutes, interacting with as much stuff as I could, just couldn't figure it out. So anyway, uh, let's pop a repel. And then we'll make our way to where we need to go. Uh, Repel! Alright, anything around here? Get some berries real quick. Got about that dude on the bridge. Grab all the berries first. All the berries now belong to me. Gonna be stealing everything, dude. All right, almost there. One more. And then we're good. Nice. Yo, what's up? Hey there. No, we've never met, but it seems like the kind of guy like oh yes. Okay. So what we should do with the good rod is once we get back to Splice and Island, go and um Go and use that in the water, maybe get something good. But turn a city. Okay, oh. Haha. <laughs> Ingenious! Now that I've blocked off the entrance with these rocks, no one will ever find our secret inside. Wait, how do I get back in now? Hey! Oh. <laughs> I keep trying to contact the international police and tell them uh, Team Galactic is here. Well, I guess they've stretched pretty thin since strange things are happening all over. Are you a trainer? I'm Gardnia, the Eterna City Gym Leader. You should come check out my gym sometime. Oh, this is also their base? I forgot this area. This is, um... Obviously, Gardnia's gym, but I forgot they take this over for a little bit. So you battle, like, I think it's Mars or something for the first time. Oh, dude. Yeah, I do not remember cinema as well. There definitely is a hideout still by Marley's place. Was it, is it Marley or is it Fantina's? Is Fantina the, the ghost type gym leader? I just can't remember. Um, let's see. Oh, it's all clouded off. Okay. Well, I guess we won't find out just yet, but I guess we can go take on Gardnia now. Shouldn't be too hard with um, Pony Growl. Just like fire fang everything. And then we're good. 
Alright. My wife became a successful trainer by always being herself. That's what attracted me to her. Hey. After all these years, I still remember what it was like when we first met. Neither of us could help falling in love. Ooh, Destiny Knot. Thank you very much. Alright, so let's go and take... Actually, before we go take on Garnier, let's go explore. Yo. It was on the news a while back that one of Team Galactic's admins met an unfortunate end in prison. That's their leader, Cyrus. No one has heard from him in years. Ooh. Be really cool in a Pokemon game, like, just, you know, hear from Cyrus, just, I don't know, manage to somehow get out of the distortion world or something. Same with, um, Lysander or Lys uh, Is it Lysander or Lysandre? I don't know how you even pronounce that dude's name from Carlos. I don't think he died. Like, I feel like it's just... I've got, I need to go back and play it again, but I'm, when I played it, I was like, you know, there's a few ways he could potentially survive and just need to remember them. And then, um, yeah, they could easily do it into a Pokemon game. He's back and he's better than ever. <laughs> oh, is that a bike voucher? Hmm, it looks like you really have a bicycle. But if you like, I can upgrade your Econo bike in exchange for that voucher. Yeah, sure. All right, let's take a minute. Oh, sweet. Bicycle was upgraded to what? Oh, okay. Thanks, my dude. Appreciate it. And then we got name rating service available. Don't need to change our names. We're good. All right, last house. Can't go to the mines down below. Looking for Villanette. Was it the mines down below? Or was it something else? I think it led towards Mount Coronet, right? Was that Mount Coronet up? I can't remember. <laughs> I didn't play through, like, last time I played through Sinner was like nine months ago, but honestly, I can't remember the layout too well. I think it's just too many games I've been playing, just all mun like, mushed into one, one big region. <laughs> Alright, so. Ooh! This looks like a gloom look in his eyes and it's just demonic. <laughs> it's like, oh, I wonder what a gloom looks like with eyes open. Blah, this. <laughs> Scary. Alright, that was nice and easy, and I don't think we're gonna evolve our pony growl this episode. Like, still eight kind of like that to be honest. It's kind of nice. Anyway, got eight levels to go. I think we can probably get close. If we can just get to 39 this episode, then that's great. I can use a like, rare candy, but I feel like it'll be next episode we likely get. We likely evolve this pony ground. Unless we need Firestone, then it will be whenever we find a Firestone. I mean, not bad XP to be fair, 650. Rage Powder, uh, no thank you. Alright, so, let's go take on this person, we'll fight all the trainers in here, because all these cool fusions is, is like, you know, 90% of the fun of this game, just seeing the cool fusions. Oh god! Is that like a Chimchar, Piplop, and Turtwig all like, fused together? Oh god. <laughs> it's just kind of... Wrong. <laughs> but I kind of like it. Alright, guess I gotta go to the Pokemon Center now. Yes, you do. Not to end, okay. It's fine. Alright, before we take on the next trainer, let's quickly heal up. Just in case we get put to sleep or something. Don't want that. Uh, super Potion. There we go. The word Super Potion is always, um... Like, it's just, it's, it just feels so wrong to me saying it now because of another fan game called Pokemon Spork, where super potions are soup or potion. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I just can't not hear it every time I say it. Oh, nice need to get a chat sprout, though. I feel like this gym's going to be super easy, just fire tank everything, dude. Inferno, do we want to learn Inferno? Uh, probably do. Do this. We've got seven more levels to go. A dumbbell. Oh, Dunsparce and <laughs> Weeping Bell. <laughs> oh, dude. Just the eyes. Like, the closed eyes look so wrong with the big mouth. Just no. Hey, Strikers are getting the levels so fast. Discharge. Um, no, we got, we got Thunderbolt. Down 
here first. Hey, now these trees are a great place to hide. It's just a shame you can't see my pretty face. <laughs> oh man, I, I, gym pass is pretty easy. Like, I don't think many people will battle you, love. So um, yeah. I don't think anyone's ever going to see you. I might just forget about you being in here. Alright, and last Pokemon is a... Is that? Oh no. Got to think for a second. I thought maybe that was the evolution. I just want to see what the evolution looks like for this, because I feel like the evolution would look so funny and so good. <laughs> Alright. Level 32 for you. Sweet. Final throw. No, thank you. I want to go inter interact with that rock as well, just in case we get something out of it. No. Okay. Let's go get our fourth gym badge. Yeah. Yo. Hi. Glad you came. As a gym leader of Eternity City, I specialize in grass type Pokemon. They're my favorites. Even now that mine are fused, fused other types, they're pretty neat, actually. Anyway, probably want to battle me. Let's see what you've got. All right. Bring it on. Right, you got three Pokemon, not too bad. Ooh! Bear taking a Rosary there. The, the hair just is like a Bear Tick went out to like just get a nice haircut. And then the, the arms just look wrong. Let's go for a Fire Fang though, it should instantly destroy that, like a Grass Ice type. No chance. Right, what else you got? A Mongrel. Ooh. I have no idea what this could be. Oh, I'm on a Ferno and a Grotto. And a Primplop, maybe? Let's go for a Ferno. Got the burn, nice. Yeah, it's got like a triple evolution again. I'm actually kind of curious to see what the final evolution for that looks like then. I can Ferno, um, Empoleon and a Torterra could look pretty, pretty cool. Or just look like an abomination, you never know. <laughs> right, last Pokemon, and you've got nowhere near level uh, 34 by Chiram and a Gardevoir. Ooh. I, I like the body, I mean, the head just kind of sucks, but the body, like, the colour looks really nice. You've got, like, the, um, when it's sunny day and like it opens up, that could look pretty really sweet. But we ain't gonna find out, because yeah, you got wrecked. <laughs> hey, 34, six more levels to go. Oh, flamethrower, yes please. Uh goodbye inferno. Sweet. Level 35. Everyone's growing levels, man. Amazing. You're really tough. Thank you. I try. So what we need to find now is Rock Smash. Don't know where we're gonna get Rock Smash from, but I think we needed to get into the Galactic Basin. Unless we're gonna just keep going through Sinner for a little bit. All uh, right. Thanks for a great battle. You are welcome. Let me double check. We don't have Rock. Yeah, we definitely don't have Rock Smash. 100%. So I'm assuming we just want to head east from here and try and find it, and then we can go take on Team Galactic. Galactic Rocket, I should say. Anyway, I'm going to end this right here. Next episode, we'll find Rock Smash and do what we got to do. So, for you guys watching, I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.